Hello, my name is Mark and I'm the founder of Mind Friends. Uh, it's a very small organisation at the moment and our ambition um, is to set up a charity so that we can make um, therapy much more available than it is at the moment. Um, as you know, there's a huge crisis in mental health and we feel that, that we could do something um, to alleviate that, that crisis. So what I'd like to do this afternoon is just to try to show you how very simple techniques, I don't really like calling them techniques, very simple changes, adjustments to your lifestyle can bring back the joy of life and living. Um, it can bring back the joy in our relationships when they become stale and difficult. Um, and in fact, almost any area of life can be overhauled in, uh, in a certain way just by making these little adjustments. So what do I mean? Well, I'm speaking about mindfulness, what is popular, popularly known as mindfulness. Uh, and it's simply the idea that we can backpedal a little and relearn some of the wonderful natural abilities that we had as children, for example, the curiosity that we had, the um, simple enjoyment of, of life as it passes by moment by moment. And let's face it, our lives are passing by moment by moment, faster and faster as we get older, or so it seems. And it is the only time we have to live, is now. Yesterday is gone forever. And even what we can remember of the past is nothing more than a, a version of what happened in the past. And the future hasn't happened yet, and what we think might happen probably won't. So all we have is now. And we have this thing called the breath, which is such a gift. It's the only thing really that's with us from the moment we're born until the moment we die. And so why not use the breath as a way to bring focus to the mind or to put it differently, let's try to use the breath to have more control over our thought world. What do I mean? If you imagine thoughts as, let's say, balloons uh, floating around in the sky and they sometimes become completely out of control, we're, we're, we're aware of their movements backwards and forwards and perhaps if it's a windy day they're moving more than normal but if we could have some control over those balloons which are our thoughts um, we would be able to enjoy life and overcome some of the difficulties that thoughts uh, bring to us so the breath becomes like an anchor for the balloons um, and enables us to, to get more control over them. So if we try that just now, as you're listening to me, we pause for just a moment, sitting comfortably, feet flat on the ground if you're sitting, or if you're lying down, uh, just lying flat with your feet falling to the sides, and then either closing your eyes or lowering your gaze, and then just becoming aware of your breathing. Not changing it in any way, just noticing the rise and fall of your abdomen.
and see if you can follow your breath as it comes into your body and then comes and then leaves your body. See if you can follow it all the way. And notice what the breath feels like. Is it warm or cool? And if your thoughts begin to wander, as they inevitably will, just gently bring them back to the present moment, to now. And you may even want to count your breaths to help you to bring, bring things into the present moment and keep them there. So let's say counting to 10 breaths. and then opening your eyes when you're ready. Uh, I wonder how that felt for you if you've never done that before. Um, it's certainly calming, it's certainly relaxing, uh, but the idea is not to fall asleep, of course, the idea is to be aware, to be tuned in in a new way, in, in a different way so that the experience uh, of that breathing, which was the focus of that particular exercise, um, becomes more enhanced um, and takes on a new significance um, in the way you experience life. Now, of course, you'll go through the rest of today uh, breathing in and out all the time automatically. It's an autonomic response. But it's so helpful just to pause even once in the course of a day, just for three minutes, and take what we call a three-minute breathing space. It just tunes you in again, so that you can continue with the with the business of of, of living. And after all, if you were in an orchestra or a band, you wouldn't begin to play as a band together until you had tuned in, uh, and until the instruments were tuned. Why is it that we are so reluctant to tune in our minds um, more often? So I hope you found that helpful. I'm going to post more videos. Um, I'm going to share more ideas. Uh, and please do comment on the YouTube and uh, uh, on the videos and, and let's get into a discussion about this. I'm sure that uh, many people can be helped through this way of mindful living. Thank you. Until next time.